to the Midi Career Guidance video. This video is regarding the career opportunities of overseas radiographer in UK and providing some useful information about the recruitment. In this video we have included very useful tips for enhancing your career search. There is currently a national shortage of radiographers in the United Kingdom, making it a very accessible field for overseas trained medical professionals. There are many radiographers jobs available in both diagnostic radiography and therapeutic radiography. Diagnostic radiography professions include X-rays, ultrasound, fluoroscopy, CT, MI, nuclear medicine, angiography and PACS administration, while therapeutic radiographers work as part of oncology teams and are involved in all aspects of treatment. There is both permanent and contract work are available for qualified radiographers. The type of work you choose to do will largely depend on your experience, financial needs, and of course travel plans. Radiography work is available throughout the UK, with many opportunities in London. The NHS employs 90% of all radiographers, with other opportunities in private clinics and industry. There are a lot of registered radiographers, yet there is still a shortage of skilled professionals and many employers require staff urgently. About the qualification requirements. You must hold a bachelor degree in either diagnostic radiography or therapeutic radiography. Diploma course also considered, if it meets the required standard of licensing. Ideally you should have one to two years experience in your field as well. While your qualifications should be recognized you will need to provide details of your studies, including course content and hours of study and clinical training completed, when registering as a radiographer in order to prove you have obtained the necessary skills to practice as a radiographer. Do I need to register with a professional body? Yes. Anyone using the title radiographer, diagnostic radiographer or therapeutic radiographer must be registered with the Health Professions Council to practice. Overseas trained radiographers will need to apply via the international registration route which requires you to fill out a detailed application form regarding your education and qualifications as well as provide a character and health reference. Medical qualifications from Australia and New Zealand are very highly regarded, but you will need to provide as much detail of your qualifications as possible to help with the assessment of your application. The application process can take up to four months. This is a mandatory licensing requirement prior to practicing as a radiographer in UK. Please go through the description of video for full details on the International Application Process link. Registration with the HPC is not equivalent to permission to work, it means you can legally work under the title radiographer, but you will still need the appropriate visa or work permit to lawfully gain employment. How much can I earn as a radiographer in the UK? In a permanent position, a newly qualified radiographer can expect to earn around £24,000 per year, with this of course increasing with experience and many positions pay up to £35,000 per year. Contract positions and on-call work can also increase your earnings. Checklist Before starting your job search Before you pack and have a bon voyage bash, make sure you have an appropriate qualification. Registration with the HPC and have the required character and health references. Have at least one year and ideally two years of relevant professional experience. Have an up-to-date professional CV, including references and evidence of qualifications and professional experience. Register with agencies who can assist you in securing a job. Apply to the vacancies which provide the Certificate of Sponsorship. Because as an overseas job seeker you required a Certificate of Sponsorship for getting the visa. This must be checked before applying. 
prepare yourself for a challenging and exhilarating experience. Useful links for job search. NHS and government recruitment track. Jobs and www.jobs.nhs.uk. These are the two reliable sites for vacancies in the NHS. NHSjobs.com was originally set up by a group of NHS staff and is now maintained by an e-recruitment company with many years experience of working with the NHS. It is not however an official NHS website. All information contained within this site is presented in good faith as a service to NHS organizations and staff. You can perform a job search, find jobs that match your skills, and apply for NHS jobs online. The website is providing an option for registration, so you can receive jobs by email to view new posts to suit your job search every day. Society of Radiographers Web Portal for Job Listing The Society of Radiographers website SOAR.org is also listing radiographers opportunities. This will be another source for getting reliable advertisements. You can see many existing job vacancies in this site. Independent Diagnostic Service Providers Apart from NHS many independent diagnostic service providers also required radiographers for their operations in UK. Presently they have enormous necessities for radiographers throughout UK for their CT, MI and PET units. Please visit the career website of these agencies for seeing the existing job openings. The Alliance Medical, in Health and Medneo are leading diagnostic service providers in UK. Visit their website regularly and apply against the relevant suitable opportunities. The link is given in the video description. Presently we can see lots of radiographers job advertisements in their website for their mobile scan operations throughout the Britain. Private Hospitals some of the leading private hospitals career page link is given in the video description. You can also register with leading radiographers recruitment agencies based at UK for getting support for placement. This can be easily find out through online search. hope this video is very useful for your job search. Please subscribe our channel for these kind of useful career videos. Thanks for your patient listening. Any queries please comment below the video.